Hi, I'm Georgia and welcome to Sky Cinema. Today we'll be taking a bit of a deep dive into Book of Love, the brand new rom-com starring Sam Claflin. You know, the guy who stole the show in The Hunger Games and made us all cry in Me Before You. This time though, he's going to be making us cry with laughter. See what I did there? Well, one thing I can guarantee is that the jokes in Book of Love are way better than that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into five reasons you need to watch Book of Love. Number one, Sam Claflin. Not sure if I mentioned this, but Sam Claflin is front and centre, starring as Henry Copper, an uptight author who proves the old saying that everyone has a novel in them. There's just one problem though. Henry's book, The Sensible Heart, is a bit of a yawn fest. I wouldn't say he's a failed writer, but <laughs> I wouldn't say he's a good writer. A few people bought it, and you're still using it as a chat up line. However, the unexpected success of Henry's book in Mexico lets him cash in with a book tour there. And let's just say that his Mexican adventures are both hilarious and heartwarming, both of which wouldn't be possible without Claflin's blunderingly awkward Henry. Number two, leading chemistry. Right, so this is a rom-com, and let's be honest, it wouldn't be much of a rom-com unless there were sparks flying all over the place, and Book of Love does not disappoint in that regard. When Henry touches down in Mexico, he's overwhelmed by the love of his fans. He and her partner dress as your characters, and they like to... Oh, come on. Give me your autograph. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come here. Oh, oh God, this is no. happening. Oh. Oh. Gracias. Gracias. But what makes his boring book such a success there? It might have something to do with the translator Maria, who spiced things up for her local audience and has taken a few liberties with the plot and the characters. Only the boring parts. Yeah, she pretty much rewrites it. You know, I have one question, one question. Why did you make Claire's husband gay? You don't like gay? The oh, typical. No, it doesn't. Y yes, I do like gay, I, 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 but Claire's husband isn't gay. It gives Claire a motive for the affair. Affair? After she finds her husband in bed with Andrew. Uh, Andrew? Who's Andrew? Martin's brother. Ma Martin doesn't have a brother. Well, he does now. I made him a sexy plumber. I had to make chapter six more interesting. What was wrong with chapter six? Nothing happens. Like in chapter seven and chapter five and chapter three and chapter one and the entire book, nothing happens, nothing. The chemistry between Claflin and Echegi helps elevate proceedings and makes this more than just your cookie cutter comedy. Maria isn't just a one dimensional plot device either. Echegi turns her into a bold and snappy character who gives as good as she gets and then some. Number three, it's funny. Look. I'm not an Oscar winning scriptwriter, unless this YouTube video somehow gets a nod in the original screenplay category, of course. But I reckon uptight British gent plus sexually charged superfans equals comedy gold is a pretty reliable formula. And with Sam playing the uptight gent, we're in safe hands. Outside of the overappreciative bookworms, we get a chance to meet a heap of interesting and funny characters as Henry, Maria, and co travel through Mexico. Even the moments that are a little more emotional often end with a decent punchline. Uh, hi, uh, can I sit? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, the only, uh, the only thing I remember about being a child is just how bloody awful it is. You know, everyone, everyone telling you what to do. I mean, literally everyone. You know, your parents, your teachers, you know, even the lollipop men. <laughs> do you have lollipop men here? No, English. Right, yeah. No habla. Ooh, here we go. Un, uh, uno momento. Uh, I don't suppose there's a child parent section here, but let's give it a go. Uh, okay. Uh, quiero uh, comprar unas gallinas. No, I know. <laughs> uh, tu madre está enferma. No. Tu, no, no. Tu madre está molesta. Pero te amo. Te amo. No, ella te ama. Ella te ama. Um, 
la mujer está loca. <laughs> Pero ella te ama porque uh, eres su esposo, uh, su hombre. Uh, esta molesta um, conmigo porque soy una cuchara. <laughs> Por favor, mustrem sus toadas. <laughs> Uh, mi hero to el trasero. Um, comprende? No, <laughs> it's okay. Number four, locations. It's also gorgeous to look at, and I'm not just talking about the two leads. Can I say that? Well, I have, so let's move on. Anyway, the movie looks lush thanks to being shot on location in Mexico. The film was shot in Chiapas, a state in southern Mexico, renowned for its mountains, rainforest and Mayan archaeological sites, as well as Spanish colonial towns. It was a place that both the cast and crew loved, and it really makes the film pop visually. Grabar in un estado como Chiapas is una bendición. Poder estar aquí en Chiapas es una gran bendición, es una gran muestra de la pluralidad y la diversidad cultural tan bella que tiene México y que tiene Latinoamérica y que ese es nuestro legado y nuestro principal regalo para el mundo. Y eso se va a ver reflejado en la gran pantalla con Book of Love. Number five, date night. It's no coincidence that Book of Love is coming out just before Valentine's Day. It's the perfect date night movie. And you know what? A good date night movie is a good date night movie every month of the year. So it's always worth revisiting whenever you need a laugh or a pick me up. Even if you don't have a date, grab your popcorn or a tub of ice cream or, you know, both, whatever, I'm not judging, and settle in for a love story that's refreshing and funny. So that was five reasons you need to watch Book of Love. Where do you think it stands in the pantheon of great rom-coms? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe for movie news, the latest trailers and in-depth film breakdowns. Till next time.